You see that? Look at that. I got the sunlight coming in my window. Time to plant seeds. Well, we got a cardboard box here. It's about three inches tall by about 20 inches long. Um, we put in this, uh, uh, well, peat moss soil uh, that we've been making out of our wood piles. And we just, uh, once it gets all decayed, we put them in bar buckets. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good stuff. Every once in a while you'll find a bone or something in there. Either the dogs are buried or we throw dead animals out there on the compost. So We're going to plant our onion seeds and we got two types of onion seeds. We got um, a yellow sweet Spanish onion, uh, which is a short day onion. And we also have a red short day burgundy. So we're going to plant those and we're just going to spread them out on here. I put this wood divider in here so I know which side's red and which side's um, white. Now I do believe there are about 600 seeds, quite a few seeds, 85% germination. Uh, but we're just going to let them bunch up in here till they get about, I don't know, eight or nine inches. And then we're going to transplant them outside. And I'll show you how we do that um, or how I'm going to do that. Because this is actually the first year I've ever grown onion seeds. We've always grown um, from sets, which sets are a, one, a second year onion. And they're going to want to produce... Uh, seeds and reproduce because it's the second year of them growing and we want to go we want some big onions and so this year we're going to plant seeds and we're going to transplant the seed um, plants out to our garden now you can buy onion plants but uh, we, we're going to try to do this all from seed we start all of our plants from seed except for onions um, and I don't know why we never did that just always have been taught to plant sets and that's what we always did and we we did grow some fairly decent onions but none of these uh big mama jamas and that's what we're going to try to do i don't know if we'll do it this year or not first try but we are going to um do a few different things that we haven't done in the past we're going to start with seeds then we are also going to um ring our onions which we did start doing last year and uh, it seemed to help. And we are also going to trim our tops because onions, each one of these green growths represents a ring in your onion. And if this falls over, the onion bulb is dead, separates itself. So um, we're gonna trim this before they get too heavy and fall over and just, you know, stop the growth of the onion prematurely so we're going to trim them we're going to ring them and we're going to start from seeds i'll show you in a few weeks how these turn out all right when you see these uh, you just want to get a nice even and pretty thick i mean this one i used almost the whole packet 600 some seeds there weren't so many red um, onions as there were the Spanish uh, yellow, but I'll get this black light out so maybe you can see. See, they're everywhere, and you run them in there real thick. So all those little dots, those are seeds, and. Um, we didn't fill it up all the way. Now we're just going to cover this with a light topsoil. Mark which side's which. And we'll put a uh, top on it. Make it like a greenhouse. And when they sprout up, I'll take the greenhouse off and uh, 
Let them do their thing. Their onions are pretty much indestructible. So that's early on a uh, cabbage. I put three plants in each. And it looks like two of those are up. One or two of those are up. And I got uh, purple cauliflower started here. Onion seeds are supposed to be here today and tomorrow. Um, so that purple cauliflower is what I got from. Uh, the Dickerson seeds from Arkansas Woodcutter. He got them before the 31st, 2020. They were packed for 2020. They should still be good. We'll see. Uh, I just planted this today, so we'll see how long it takes for that to come up. Purple cauliflower. We like our cauliflower. This says it has uh, fairly large blooms. Uh, some of the blooms are up to a pound, so that sounds really good. Uh, I have three seeds in there. If they all come up, I'll separate them. And uh, be a start to, and then I'll plant some more if I, however many I think I may need. So we we do plant cauliflower every year, but I think I only plant two or three plants. So I'll see what kind of space I have for it, and uh, we'll go from there. As you can see now, our cabbage is up. Focus. Cabbage is up. Some of them got two leaves on them. These are early on a cabbage. They are, uh, you can harvest them in 60 days. So we plan on having some early cabbage and some late cabbage. And these are great for 12 inch pots. So we're going to actually put uh, one plant a piece in 12 inch pots. And um, that one we planted three two I left the glass on because only two have come up I thought maybe I could get that third one up yet if I left it on there a little while but these came up in just a couple days um, because they are a fast growing plant so we should be able to get uh, 12 heads of cabbage uh, six well five it looks like um, early and then uh, some more late so we'll know what we need late but uh, Pretty excited, never grew the early Annas. We usually grow Dutch late, which we will again later this year, but these early Annas are looking to be very promising. 